A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke, chapter 9, verses 51 to 56. The passage is taken from the message version of the Bible. When he came close to the time for his ascension, he gathered up his courage and stilled himself for the journey to Jerusalem. He sent messengers on ahead. They came to a Samaritan village to make arrangements for his hospitality. But when the Samaritans learned that his destination was Jerusalem, they refused it hospitality. When the disciples, James and John, learned of it, they said, Master, do you want us to call a boat of lighting down out of the sky and incinerate them? Jesus turned on them. Of course not. And they traveled on to another village. The Gospel of the Law. Good morning. I am Father Joe Scooty Matthew and this is Coffee with God. Let us now listen to a short reflection on the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke chapter 9 verses 51 to 56. Misguided zeal for Christ. October is known as the missionary month, beginning with the feast of St. Teresa of Lisieux, the patron saint of the missions. Later in the month, the church will celebrate the Mission Sunday, reminding us of our calling to be missionaries and stand in solidarity with missionaries worldwide. October is also recognized as the month of the Rosary, inviting us to deepen our connection to the life of Jesus through meditations on the mysteries of the Holy Rosary. The life of St. Teresa of Child Jesus illustrates the little way which encourages us to approach God with childlike simplicity and to foster a loving father-child relationship with Him. The Samaritans refused to welcome Jesus and His disciples into their village and this rejection is understandable given the tense relationship between Jews and the Samaritans. Claritian theologian Father Jose Cristo Rey draws a parallel between their conflict and the ongoing struggles between Israel and Palestinians today. The question of James and John, shall we call down fire from heaven to destroy them? reveals their misguided zeal. It also mirrors the tragic reality of modern warfare, where literal fire rains down from the sky, latest through pages and walkie-talkies, taking countless lives. Nations and people are often divided by their own interests, resorting to violence to resolve conflicts. Yet, Jesus taught a different path. Hatred and vengeance do not solve our problems. Envy, anger and bitterness can tear apart relationships within families, communities and even the church. We must remember that gentleness is not a sign of weakness, but rather a reflection of true spiritual maturity and strength.